this result, this conditional, this probability of intersection of events is same as the product of this probability. This rule is called a multiplication rule. Later, I am going to introduce the total probability rule, whereas uh, this one is called a multiplication rule. That is for the probability of uh, intersection of events is same as the probability of uh, individual events. Now, we are moving into the next uh, important definition before going to the base theorem that is called a total probability rule or we can give it as a theorem also. So, this is called a total probability rule what it says let a 1 a 2 so on be a sequence of uh, events in F such that such that a i intersection a j that is going to be empty that means uh, they are mutually disjoint for all i is not equal to j. Not only that if I make a union of a i's that is going to be the whole set that means indirectly this is the partition partition of omega. This sequence of events could be finite or countably infinite. Therefore, I am making a union of uh, i's union over i it could be finite or countably infinite such that uh, they are mutually disjoint union is going to be the whole set that is basically a partition events. Indirectly what we are saying is uh, they are mutually ex exhaustive also these events are mutually exhaustive satisfying this condition then for any event capital B belonging to F probability of B can be computed by the summation of conditional probability or on AIs multiplied by P of AIs. This summation over I provided P of AIs has to be strictly greater than 0. So, the total probability rule says uh, if you have a partition uh, events on omega the probability can be computed for any event with the conditional probability on partition events multiplied by the probability of those partition events for all i's. This is going to be called as a total probability rule. We can give the proof of this even though I made it as a definition we can prove it uh, the any event b can be written as a b intersection whole set that is same as we can write uh, rewrite event b intersection the omega can be rewritten as the union of i's over i's a i's then this is same as union of i's of a B intersection A i's. Therefore, the probability of B is nothing but since uh, B intersection A i's are uh, mutually disjoints. Therefore, this is same as summation of P of uh, B intersection A i's. That is same as you can apply the conditional probability. Therefore, it is going to be probability of a B given A i's multiplied by probability of A i's. This is possible when P of A i's are going to be greater than 0. So, whenever the P of A i's are going to be greater than 0, then probability of B can be computed 
summation over i p of b given a i is multiplied by the probability of a i's. Using this total probability rule, we are going to define a next rule that is called the base rule as a next definition. That is called the base rule. What this rule says, the continuation of the total probability rule that is a for any event capital B belonging to F with the probability of B is also going to be greater than 0. Already we made the assumption P of A is are greater than 0. Now we are making a P of a B also going to be greater than 0. In that case, one can find the P of the partition event A i given B that is same as P of A i is multiplied by P of a B given A i divided by summation over j P of A j multiplied by probability of B given A j. This is valid for all i because we have already defined A i's are the partition events of omega. So, you can go for finding the conditional probability of A i's given B provided a probability of B is greater than 0. That is same as uh, the numerator is uh, probability of A i is multiplied by probability of B given A i whereas, the de denominator is all possible uh, values of the same thing in the numerator. Therefore, uh, this ratio is going to be the probability of A i given B. You can prove it easily. The left hand side is same as the left hand side is same as probability of A i intersection B divided by probability of B. So, in the numerator you can apply the conditional probability and the denominator you can use the total probability rule therefore, you can get the answer. So, this is a very important result on whenever you know the partition events you can find the probability of any event using a total probability rule as long as you know the conditional probability on partition events and the individual probability of A i's partition events. Then using the same result you can find out the conditional probability of partition event given any event B provided probability of B is greater than 0. We will go for the simple example. It is known that uh, the population of a certain city consisting of uh, 45 percentage uh, females and uh, 55 percentage uh, males. Suppose that 70 percentage of uh, male of the males and 10 percentage of the females smoke. Suppose that 70 percentage of the males and 10 percentage of the females smoke. The question is find the probability that find the probability that a smoker is male. Let me read the question again. It is known that the population of a certain city consisting of 45 percentage of 45 percentage females and 55 percentage males. Suppose that 70 percentage of the males and 10 percentage of the females smoke find the probability that a smoker is male. solve this problem by treating let S be the event S 
be the event that a person is a smoker. Let M be the event that the person is male, F be the event that a person is a female. Let S be the event that a person is a smoker, M be the event that a person is male, F be the event the person is a female. Therefore, you can find the probability of uh, M that is 55 percentage therefore, 55 by 100 probability of F that is 45 percentage so 45 by 100 and you can find the probability of S yes given male that is uh, 70 divided by 100. Similarly, you can find the probability of S yes given F that is also given that is 10 percentage therefore, 10 by 100 these are all the given information. Now, the required probability is the required probability is probability of M given S yes. that is same as probability of S yes given M multiplied by probability of M divided by probability of S yes given M multiplied by probability of M plus probability of S yes given F probability of F. So, you can substitute all the values then you can get the answer that is a 0.895 by substituting all the probability values uh, you can get the conditional probability of uh, M given S. Yes. So, by using the total probability rule as well as the base rule we are getting the result of conditional probability of M given S. Yes. So, there is a very important result on using the base rule that is called a priori and posterior posterior distribution. There is a very important concept on priori and posterior distribution what it says let a 1 a 2 and so on be a finite or countable partition of omega that means a intersection is empty and the union of A is the same as omega with P of A is greater than 0 for all I. It is basically a partition events of omega. If P is an event if B is an element or event in F with the probability of B is strictly greater than 0, then the distribution or the P of A n's for all n for all n that is called the priori distribution. Because uh, this information is known to you earlier therefore, this is called the priori distribution knowing the probability of partition events for all n that is before B happens and the P of A n given B given B this collection for all n that is called 
எடுத்து போஸ்டீரியர் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் பிகாஸ் திஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் இஸ் நோன் ஆஃப்டர் பி ஹேப்பன்ஸ் வேர் ஆஸ் பி ஆஃப் ஏஎன்ஸ் இஸ் பிஃபோர் பி ஹேப்பன்ஸ் தேர் ஃபோர் இட்ஸ் கால்டு ப்ரியர் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் அண்ட் ப்ராபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் ஏஎன் கிவன் பி தேட் இஸ் ஆஃப்டர் பி ஹேப்பன்ஸ் தேர் ஃபோர் இட்ஸ் கால்டு போஸ்டீரியர் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் தட் இஸ் after b has happened so this is a very important result on probability the prior and posterior distribution based on base rule the one is called the probability of partition events these are all called the prior distribution and after the event b happens the probability of a a n given b for all n that is going to be called as a posterior distribution this has the wide application in statistics so with this uh, we are uh, completing a uh, basic uh, basics of probability starting from a random experiment sample space probability space probability measure then uh, some results on the probability space then uh, independent events then mutually independent and the pairwise independent events then after that we have introduced a conditional probability then we have uh, introduced uh, two important result one is a total probability rule and the multiplication rule then finally we have discussed the base rule mm-hmm.